From the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Sponsored by Murray Roofing. Good morning, this is Craig Allison with your Morning Pulse for Tuesday, October 22nd. We've got a lot of stories out of Lincoln, so we'll dive right into it. Our first one is coming in from East Central Lincoln. It's a developing story, and police are investigating a stabbing that happened outside of a home a little after 11 p.m. last night in the area of 55th and Wilshire. LPD says a 25-year-old man was taken to a Lincoln hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, though authorities have not said if a suspect is in custody. Your second story, this was the scene near 9th and G Streets last night. LPD says a car driven by 39-year-old Rudy Guerra switched lanes and hit another vehicle, which made that car leave the street and hit a power pole. One person was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. LPD says Guerra ran from the area but was later found and arrested for leaving the scene of an accident and DUI. And we'll continue to keep you updated on these first two stories as we learn more. Your third story, a Lincoln woman was arrested Sunday after she was accused of assaulting multiple officers and medical personnel while drunk. Lincoln police responded to a call of a slumped over woman near 13th and O Street. The officers helped order her an Uber when she began yelling at officers and struck one in the face. She was transported to a Lancaster County jail where she blew a .38 and later had to be evaluated by Brian West staff. At the hospital, she was reportedly uncooperative, biting one officer, digging her fingernails into another, and is also accused of injuring two hospital staff members. Your fourth story, the Lincoln Chamber of Commerce will be hosting its annual state legislative preview later this morning. Today, Lincoln and Lancaster County area state senators will discuss key issues for the upcoming 2025 legislative session. That's just more than two months away. State senators will also talk about several other issues, including this upcoming election. And your fifth story, a Lincoln police officer was given the mayor's award of excellence for her help in a case that got a teen out of an abusive household. LPD says officer Antonia DeGeorge was sent out for a welfare check on a 14 year old after a call about his living conditions. She worked with the department to have the boy removed from the home and reunite him with family in another state. The officers who nominated her say DeGeorge's work helped uncover abuse that may have otherwise gone unreported. That is your morning pulse for this Tuesday and we'll take a look at your seventh day to end things out. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Sponsored by Murray Roofing.